Hey there and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. Let's get started with the eyes. I'm going to start on the left side with a big circle. Starting from the top, come around to the bottom, and then back up to the top. We're going to leave a gap in the middle here and draw in the same thing on the right side. So we're going to line up the top, right here, curve around to the bottom, and then make our way back up to the top. In the center of these circles, we're going to draw on a pupil. So on the left side, we're going to draw on a smaller circle, and we'll color that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So right in the middle, we're going to draw on a circle, and we'll color that in black as well. In between the eyes, let's draw on the nose. So we're going to start in the middle here, and curve down over towards the right, and we draw a short angled line coming back towards the center. Let's move down and draw in the mouth. So just below the left eye, just to the side here, we're gonna draw in a point. On the right, we'll come down in the middle, and just over towards the right side, and draw another, another point. We're gonna connect those two points with a curve for the top of the mouth. Starting on the left, we'll curve down in the middle, and work our way up towards the right side. Now we're going to draw on the bottom of the mouth. So we're going to start at that same starting point, come down in the middle, and then back up to the right. Starting here, curve down to the bottom of the mouth, and work our way towards the right. Let's give him some teeth. So just below the top of the mouth, we're going to draw another curve, going from left to right, across the top. And just over here on this side, I'm just going to draw two short little lines side by side. Now underneath the right eye, he's got the scar, so I'm just going to draw another curve, scar between the eye and the mouth, and I'm going to draw two stitch lines, just underneath. From here we're going to draw in the bottom of the face, so let's start on the left side of the eye, right here, and draw a curve coming down just underneath the mouth, back up to the right side. So again, starting just beside the eye, and curve down, it's almost like a big half circle, just below the mouth, I'm going to bring that up on the right side. Now let's layer in the hair bangs. So from this point, I'm gonna curve up and in just over the left eye. I'm gonna draw another strand coming down. So just above the eye, I'm gonna curve down and we'll curve this back up. Let's do another hair bang coming down towards the eye and then curving back up. From here, we're gonna draw one big curl coming down this way. Starting at the top, we'll come down in between the eyes and then curve that back up. We're going to continue this on the right side till we get to the side of the head here. So curving down towards the eye, and we'll pull that back up. We'll do one more, coming down towards the eye, and then back up. Now we're just going to pull this line from here all the way to the side of the head, curving down. Let's give him some eyebrows. So the eyebrows are going to be angled just behind the hair bangs this way. Starting on the left side, it's going to be coming down just above the left eye, so starting here. Angle down, in behind the hair bang, and we'll just continue into the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right. Starting here, we'll go up above the right eye, behind the hair bang, and then up. From here, I'm just going to draw a curve for the edge of the hat. So just above the side of the eye here, we're going to step up, draw a curve going up above the bangs towards the right side. So again, starting on the edge of the eye, stepping up, draw a curve going across, and then just down on the right side, just in line with the outside edge of the eye. From here, let's draw in some hair coming out. So from the left side, we're gonna curve out towards the left. Now we're gonna pull that back in, so it gets a little bit wider. Now we're gonna draw one bigger one, curving out. Now we're gonna pull this back in towards the side of the head, just curving right in. Let's do the same thing on the right. So from here, curve out, and we'll curl that back in. Now we'll do one longer one, curving out, and we'll pull that back in to the side of the head. Let's tuck the ears underneath the hair. So just here on the side, we're just going to curve in behind the head. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So just curving back in. We'll draw some hair poking out at the bottom here. So at the bottom of the left ear lobe, we're just going to angle down, go back up, we'll come down, and then we'll just pull that up underneath the jaw. We'll do the same thing on the right. So underneath the ear lobe, we'll angle down, Come back up, come down, and then just pull that up underneath the jaw. From here we're going to draw in the brim of the hat. So basically it's a giant oval tucked in behind the head. 
So just above this curve, we're going to step up and just draw a point. From here, we want to curve out the side of the head and pull that back in. But what we're going to do is we're going to wiggle our pen just a little bit to give it some texture. Starting in the middle, we're just going to wiggle the pen going out so it's like a half oval. Now right here, we're going to curve this back in behind the head. So I'm just going to wiggle back in behind the ear. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So wiggling the pen across. And right here, we're going to start to turn and pull this back in behind the ear. Inside the brim, we're going to draw in some little hash lines for some texture. So starting on the left side here, I'm just going to draw a couple hash lines like this. Now these two lines are sort of aimed towards the center of the head. So we're going to just going to work our way around this way. So up here, I'm just going to draw a couple, maybe three lines. Up here, we'll add two. Add two up here. A couple along there, and then maybe another set down there. From here, let's draw on the top of the hat. So the top of the hat is basically like a curve, almost like a half circle, about the width of the head. So we're going to start from the side of the head, work our way up, right here, and draw a curve going up to the top of the hat, and then we're going to come back down on the right side. Curving down to the right side there. Now let's add in the little band across here. So from this point, we're going to go across with a curve, and make our way back towards this point on the right. Curving down. Now we're going to add some more textured lines here. So just a couple hash lines across the side, a couple in the middle, and a couple on the right. Okay, so we've got the head. Let's work our way down the body. So just underneath the chin here, we're going to draw on the inside of the collared shirt. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve in. We're going to leave a gap on the right side. We'll curve in. Now we're going to draw the front edge of the shirt. Two straight lines coming down the middle, side by side. Now for the bottom of the shirt, it's got a little bit of a wrinkle. So we're going to start on the left side here. We're going to draw a little curve going across. So we can go out, in, and then out. Let's do the opposite on the right side. So starting here, we go out, in, and then out. Now from these points on the side of these curves, we're going to curve up. Just coming up with a short curve coming upwards on both sides. Now on these points, we're going to come in towards the armpits. So from here, we're going to curve up and in to right about there. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So coming up to right about there. In this open gap here, we're just going to add in the collarbone. So just two angled lines coming in towards the middle, a little gap in the center there. Let's add in the little scar in the chest. So it's basically like an X, but it's got a little bit of a wavy line. So in the middle of the chest, we're going to draw a little point. We're going to wiggle a line going out in an angle towards the right. We'll wiggle a line going out towards the left. Now we're going to step down and draw another point. Now we're going to reverse this. So we're going to go wiggle the line coming down towards the left, and then wiggle the line going down towards the right. Now we want to just draw that little notch in here. So in between these two points, step over to the left, draw a point. We're going to wiggle up, and then we're going to wiggle it down. Same thing on the right. So starting here, we'll draw a point, we'll wiggle up, and then we'll wiggle it down. In the middle between the chest, we're just going to draw a short line for the chest. Let's work our way down the body. We're going to start with the sash first. So just underneath this curve here, we're going to draw a curve coming down and back up on the right side. Curving down and then back up. Now before I forget, I want to draw the inside part of the shirt. So on this side of the curve, we're just going to draw an angle line going up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to draw on the sash coming down the front here. So in the middle of the body, we're just going to curve down and out. From the bottom here, we're going to do the same treatment like we did with the shirt. We're going to wave out, back, and then out. Now from this point, this little curve here, we're going to angle it up. We're going to take the outside of this edge and just angle up and just kind of blend it out. On this corner, we're just going to pull this back up with a curve underneath the belt line. Going up and then in. Now let's add the bottom of the sash. So just down here, we're just going to take that same curve and just duplicate it underneath behind this sash here. Curving underneath, then back up on the right side. In here, we're just going to draw a little wrinkled curve going across like that. Let's continue down towards the legs. So in the middle of the body, just below the sash here, we're going to draw a little curve going across the middle. Now on the left side, we're going to step over towards the right and curve down with a short line. On the right, you're only going to see a little bit of it, just curving down to right about there. We're going to add the furry cuff of the pant. So we want to work our way towards the left with these little curves that go across 
the body like that. We're going to go all the way out to the edge of the shirt here. Now on the right side, you're not going to see it behind the sash, but we'll continue on the right side of it, right up to about there. We're going to bring this back around along the bottom. So we're going to continue these little curves going along the bottom in the opposite direction. And then as we get to the inside of the leg, we're just going to ramp it around there. Let's do the same thing on the right. So just curling around underneath the sash. You see a little bit in here, so we're just going to fill in that little gap like that. On the sides of the hips, we're just going to round out the side of the leg. So right here on the side edge, we're going to step over towards the right curve this in underneath the shirt. We'll do the same thing on the right side, curving up and underneath. Let's continue on with the feet. So just underneath this cuff, we're going to step in towards the left, curve down towards the heel. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving down towards the heel. Now we're going to draw in the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, I want to draw a nice even curve going up across. We're going to do that on both sides, all the way to the toes. Now from this point, I want to curve the first toe, curving around and in. Now we're going to draw on the top of the foot, so we're going to draw a curve going across. Now on this leg here, we're going to step in underneath the cuff and just curve to the top of the foot. Now we want to add a couple toes in here, so we're just going to draw like little C shapes, just one behind the other, curving across like that. Let's do the same thing over here. We're going to round up the toe on the outside. And draw a curve for the top of the foot, going up and over. Now underneath the cuff right here, we'll just curve the outside of the leg. Now we're going to do the backward C's for the toes. So one here, leave a gap, and draw another one on the end. We're going to draw the bottoms of the sandals. So from the edge of the toe, curve out and down. So it's sort of bowing out this way. On the heel, it'll go in the opposite direction. We'll connect those two points with another curve, just underneath the foot. Let's do the same thing on the right, curving in and curving out. Connect it with a curve that goes across the bottom. Now we want to add a little bit of texture on the sandal. So on the side, we're just going to draw two lines on the side, two lines side by side in the middle, and two on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. On the side on the left, two lines in the middle, two lines on the side. We're going to add the strap that goes over the foot. So on top of this curve here, we come back and in, we're going to duplicate that, we're going to draw that twice, coming inwards. Do the same thing on the right, so coming in towards the left, and we'll draw that twice. Okay, so we've got the legs, let's finish this off with the arms, so I'm going to have them hanging down in fists. We're going to start on the left side here. Starting just below that point, we're going to step down, and just draw a curve going outwards. We're going to draw on the cuff of the sleeve. So from here, we're just going to draw a little wave going outside, so going up, down, up, down. Now from this point, I just want to curve this in underneath the head. So the arm is going to get a little bit narrower as we come in towards the shoulder. So curving in. Now for the arm that comes in underneath, I want to show it going underneath the sleeve. So from this point, we're going to step over and in towards the left, curve down towards the wrist. From the wrist, we're going to draw a little half circle for the thumb, and then we're going to draw a little bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're going to circle around the bracket and go up. On the side of this finger, we'll draw another curve going up for the second finger. Now for the third finger, we're going to tuck this in underneath this cuff, but we're going to leave a little overlap on the end. It's so curving up and in. So you can see the little overlap on the other side. We're going to take these points and just curve them underneath the arm like that. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting at the bottom here, so stepping down, curve to the cuff. Now we're going to draw that little wave going up, down, up, down. And then again, curving this up underneath, tucking it in underneath the chin. Now let's draw in the arm. So from this point, we're going to step over towards the right, curve down towards the wrist. Now we're going to draw in the thumb. It's a little half circle. And then we're going to draw a little bracket at the end of the thumb. At the bottom of the thumb, we're going to curve around the bracket and up. Come back down, draw another curve for the second finger, and then again for the third finger, it's going to come up underneath the sleeve, leaving a slight overlap on the end. So we can just tuck these in underneath the arm. Let's finish this off with four buttons on the side here. So starting at the top, draw one. We'll come down to the bottom and draw a second one. We're going to add two more on the inside. One on the top, one on the bottom. 
And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you check out our anime playlist. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.